you to rise and shine and enjoy your hopefully nice long weekend. Hey, good morning to you. Come on in here. Uh, today, if you need some plans, it's the last day of Phoenix Comic Con. Um, you'll see lots of panels, lots of cosplay, and one of the invited guests here is actor and producer Noel G. Um, you, you probably recognize him already because you've been in movies. We've seen your face before. Um, this latest project, though, is Ditch Party that you've been working on, and this is about kids working together during a school shooting. Do we have that sound, guys? Doesn't look like we have that sound. We we're going to show a little clip of that movie, but that's. <laughs> How the hell did you guys even find this place? That's what I want to know. We all got text messages telling us to come down here for a party. I need someone to take charge in there. Can I count on you? Yeah, absolutely. All right. How many kids do you have in a room with you right now? Five. Oh, well, seven now, technically. So what are you doing now? Isn't it obvious? We're busting out the gear to break into the campus security network. Checking out the camera. Oh my gosh, it's already so riveting and you're drawn in and mostly because it's so realistic because this isn't something like, oh, maybe this could happen. We've seen it happen multiple times. Yeah, so this is based on true events. So that was my okay. So what was your inspiration for putting this together? Um, pretty much, uh, you know, when I was in high school, are we live like right we're now? Live we're live right now right on right TV. Now? Oh, yeah, okay, we're doing this. Up. All right, she jumping <laughs> we're in. We're doing right. this. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I was uh, bullied when I was a kid. You know, I had a lot of hair, pimples, stuff like that. So I was getting picked on a lot. And uh, long story short, you know, I always see these, uh, you know, teenage uh, high school shootings going on. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, people are getting humiliated publicly. You never know who wants revenge privately. And sometimes they want to take themselves out, but they want to take people with them. So I think that we need to raise awareness and, uh, you know, make it known that, you know, there is help out there. That we don't have to shoot up a high school to... Right. You well, know, this is that's what I think all this is, craziness. is interesting. It would have been easy for you to go to like an exploitive route, you know, look, look what could happen and, um, you know, show the divisiveness that can happen in a situation like that. But you went the total opposite route. You're, you're showing kids like working together, coming together. I imagine just from that clip that maybe the kids didn't know each other, didn't really get along maybe before this moment in the school. Well, I wanted to show real situations, too, that kids can relate to, you know, stuff yeah. that we all deal with, like smoking weed, you know, being molested, um, you know, drugs, alcohol, uh, you know, not feeling confident about themselves because they're either too fat, too skinny, whatever the case may be mm -hmm. or whatever. So long story short, I just wanted to show, you know, real things that are going on today. And so what I did was I mixed that up. But really what the movie's about, it's about five kids who get trapped in a basement of a high school and in the middle of the movie, there's a high school shooting that takes place. And so these five kids find out that they were in the basement, not sa to be saved, not killed, because they all did a good deed in the killer's life. Oh, my gosh. So it has a twist at the end, you know? So it's a teenager movie. It's a thriller, um, you know, and it has its twist and turns or whatever, and it has its message at the end, which... Uh, you know, just shows the reality of the situation of what can go down. Well, and especially, we all remember back in the day, I mean, we all got picked on or felt bad about something, and just one word of kindness, one moment of kindness can go a long way. And right. that can, I mean, that can really get you through those hard times. And someone who gets bullied remembers something like that, you know what I mean? Like, that's like a big moment for them because they're like, for the first time in their life, they either feel accepted or they feel loved yeah. or they feel appreciated. And um, I think if we just learn how to love each other and appreciate each other and let everyone be different, and sometimes people have to know this, this is an important thing, and I take no credit for this. Um, sometimes we can't always be meant to fit in, we have to be meant to stand out. Yeah. You know, it's easy to be a you know, follower, but be a leader by standing out and being someone different, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And just let people be who they are and respect them, you know? So let's have this, you be an example uh, to encourage people who might be going through a rough time, especially in school. You were bullied, you were picked on, now you're successful and certainly confident. So tell us what you're doing at Comic Con, because I know you're on your way there uh, this morning. You're going to be there at 10. Yeah, I'm going to be at the Comic Con, um, Phoenix Comic Con right here. I'll be signing autographs, be hanging out with the fans, uh, be talking to them, letting them know my new projects that are coming out, which this one's one big one for me, Ditch Party. Yeah. It's a, uh, you know, for teenagers, it's a teen thriller. It's available on Amazon. And then I got a movie in theaters right now as we speak, Lowriders. Um, that's another movie going on right now with Eva Longoria and some of the Sons of Anarchy cast. You better have some cast. beautiful cars in that. Yeah, yeah, if you yeah. come out no, with the title Lowriders, yeah. you better have some beautiful so, cars. <laughs> they better keep up to the name, right? I feel you. I feel you. Hey, thank you for stopping that's by. We appreciate that. And, I appreciate uh, that. Ditch Party is uh, streaming right now live on Amazon. And then if you're headed to Comic-Con, you definitely want to hang out with this guy. <laughs>